Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna do another floating cup and I said, floating cup, <laughs> double open cup. And I said this time I would do it on a black base. So I am using all metallics. Metallics have my heart. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be overkill, but the whole point is I wanted to swipe with black this time instead of white. I wanted to have the black around the outer end, uh, rim. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out on a black base, but I love metallics on a black base more than I like them on a white base. So I don't know if it's gonna work out. We're gonna find out together. So let's paint. So this is the end of my paint. So there may be a little bit of stuff in there. I'm gonna have to see but I love it when I use up all of a color. I do see one little, oh no, it was an air bubble. I got a little overzealous there. <laughs> when I stretch it, I'll be able to see if there's anything in it. But when you get down to the end, all those little dried bits from the side of your container could be in there. So I'm just gonna swoosh this on around a bit. I want to cover a pretty good amount of the canvas to start. And I found when doing these open cups, having a thinner base to start is better because otherwise all the colors will just push out and sink underneath the black. So, you know, I've started every one. Why don't I start this one like kind of close in? and on this side first, and I'll drag up this way because I've always started over here. So I think I'm gonna go, I'll put my black in and my black is mixed Amsterdam um, oxide black and that's the same as the base. And the base has gloss medium and uh, Floetrol in it. This has Australian Floetrol in it. So I'm gonna pour this around and it's already seeping out, I can see. And then here, I'm gonna start with my gold. Little bit of copper. Ooh, it just started to move. Nothing's popping up yet, but it's definitely there. And then a little bit of bronze and there it goes. And as, oh my goodness, Metallics were the perfect idea for this black swipe. And as it's kind of floating on along, it's already started making some of those cells and lacing because I put the, um, the Australian Floetrol mixture at the back end of it. Okay, well, I don't know if that's, maybe I'll just do a little bit more. And I'm gonna drag this lift up the end a little bit oh wow and drag that on along oh wow i got a really cool swipe effect right there this has actually worked out the best out of the other two this is what i was trying to do is get the swipe but without a palette knife the swipe effect i should say now i don't super love this in here, so I may just kind of swipe my finger along for a design. It was where I stopped pouring and started pouring again. So, all right, black and, oh, I love it when it works. Okay, I'm actually gonna go much further in to start. So black on the side. Um, should I change up my, maybe I'll change up my colors here. There we go. It's starting to float. Ah, it's going to float away. <laughs> Stay there. There it goes. It's going. It's going, it's gonna start popping up. It's taking a second, but it's all pushing through. 
And I may just kind of twist this a little bit. Lift up my edge. Swipe along there. So there is a lot of color that's under there. I may swipe that with my palette knife. And I don't know, I feel like maybe, I don't know, I feel like maybe just two of these is enough, I'm not sure. I think maybe two is enough. Now I'm gonna come in with this thinner mixture and go ahead and swipe a little bit around the part that I think there's color underneath. Yep. There it is. And I kind of feel like this looks like a brain right now. I might wanna swipe that area too. That gold really reacts. And gold was what I put in, oh my gosh, I just slung that everywhere. Gold is what I put in there first in this section. And I'm just not loving that ring right around there. So, so this is like a combination technique. So I know I'm gonna get cells here. but that will allow me to make that design up there. Yeah, a lot of the copper came through on that side. So I'm getting some pretty organic cells. I'm getting the tiny cells from lacing. This is really, really cool. And I'm getting some what I call fish eyes over here of the black popping through as well. I mean, I think that might be it. I think I may just stretch this out from here. I'm out of paper towels. <laughs> I mean, not out, but I don't have any more with me. So I think I may just go for this. And I think I have enough black paint already on there. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> and I am going to do a big open cup double cup soon and I will show you how I make the cup when I make that video because I'm going to make a larger cup for the larger canvas so I'll show you everybody's been asking me that as well and let me know if you've tried this technique because it is a lot of fun now listen open cups did not work for me <laughs> they I would always end up with like a ring of color in the middle but this double cup helps me swipe a color over it to create something else so the colors blend together a little bit more so if you've tried an open cup and you're like eh, it's not for me try it as a double open cup and see if it works better for you i have a couple different ideas for this as well i i want to um try some two side by side like a diptych or a triptych and carry the floating cup along, the double cup along. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe I'll do it afterwards. I'm just gonna see how this stretches out for now. I can tell a couple of my colors are a little bit thinner, so immediately these cells are gonna break up a little bit, I can already tell. But that's okay, this will just be kind of organic feeling. It is my copper, I think. That is a lot thinner. This one's gonna have like a beautiful river running down the middle of it. Huh, I may swipe that, I don't know. What do we think? Super cool, super organic. 
But what do we think about this middle? I don't know the answer to that. Please have a piece of a paper towel left. What do you think? I don't know what to do here. Like, do I leave this big crevice? I might swipe it just a tiny bit. I was holding my breath. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna swipe a tiny bit again. Right up through, ooh, it's gonna be difficult. I'm actually creating a little bit more negative space. Like I think I'm gonna swipe back down through here. So my paints were actually a little bit too thin for this one. I can just tell by how none of the design really held up. Oh, that is really, really pretty. I feel like maybe I want to come back in here. Now, this is giving me tree vibes and I am loving it. I felt like I was going to drop it. Yes. The tree in the forest. This is like the dark one in like the movie, the ominous tree. Kind of completely changed the composition here. I really like that side, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I love this corner up there. I like that the tree is not symmetrical. The only thing I'm gonna do is just swipe one mm, I don't really like that I'm gonna swipe it with the black all right I think I'm done this totally changed what actually was supposed to happen, did not happen. It looks nothing like the other ones that I did, but that's so cool. Soften that right there, bring that up in there. 
Okay, that's it. My tree in the forest. I'll show you. Do you guys see the tree? I don't know. It's the composition that way just doesn't work for me. But this is what I meant by, and I can tell, it sells like those that my paint mixture is too thin. So my lacing holds up here, but as I get into this section, I can tell some of my paints were too thin. And I think it was the bronze color, or the copper color. Look at that cool reaction up there. But I actually really like this one. Turned into something I didn't even think it would, but this is super cool. All right, I'll show you how it dries. So this is not at all what I expected. I think my paints, I thinned them out with water just a little bit too much. It's still really cool, just not what I expected. I am gonna call this one my wishing tree. You can see the copper and the bronze throughout there. Super cool negative space in the middle though. I do wish just to balance it out that maybe I'd had maybe that something over there like that darker. But I may have to try this one again but look at the shine on the metallics. Wow. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I'm just experimenting all over the place. But I hope you like it. And I hope that you're experimenting too. Happy painting. Bye.